Esther Hicks was my next most influential person on this journey of self-growth. She teaches Law of Attraction, but what I have learned a lot from her most is how influential energy is and how to use it. Esther teaches this through Abraham Hicks, which is a group of entities that are interpreted by Esther Hicks. Abraham has described himself as a group of consciousness from the non-physical dimension. They have also said, we are that which you are. You are the leading edge of that which we are. We are that which is at the heart of all religions. Abraham has said through Esther that whenever one feels moments of great love, exhilaration, or pure joy, that is the energy of source. And that is who Abraham is. So Abraham Hicks is just a metaphor for energy of source. The energy you need slash feel always. You need to know how to function this energy to use it in the most productive way for yourself. To feel joy, happiness all the time and attract the things you want. You're going to need how to function this energy properly so it works in your favor and your body and attracts everything you want. This is how you manifest everything in your dreams that everyone says is so possible. We just need to clear, we need clarity to understand all of this and then we can put it into proper use. If you're not clear of anything, your body, your soul, your, your, your source cannot manifest these things. You need to be clear on it. And once you're clear on it, your true energy, it's, it's just your energy again. It's, it's faith. It's everything. It truly believes it can happen and that's when it does. So you need to be clear. You know, that's why it's, things can't just happen. One, once it's in you, it's in you. And then you can make it happen. So this, this is very real to me. The energy is completely 100% real to me. Um, when I started getting into Law of Attraction, I was so into it. I believe it so extremely much and practiced it so much that I had one of the most productive, most amazing years of my life just three years ago or so. It was my best year ever. Financially, family matters, friends, everything was the best. And that's because I truly believed it and I was really practicing it and I, I just let go and I just really let it happen. I, I, I made sure I felt that energy. I really used what uh, Abraham Hicks here said and I used my energy and I, I didn't let any other energies come involved. And most of everything I wanted to happen, happened. And then something happened in my life where it triggered some negative energy and I just, I, it just spiraled nonstop. I just kept on thinking about the negative thing and it just, for a year and a half, nothing went right. Every single week, day almost, like nothing almost went right. Like business failed, relationships failed, everything. And that's because I was spinning off on this negative energy nonstop. And I honestly said to myself that I need to almost um, see if this works. And I know I can see if it works through negativity because it's the most easiest. It always happens all the time. You know, because you're programmed like that. And I, I proved it to myself, which I, I wish I didn't, because I had a terrible year. But now I'm back into it, and I, I'm proving it to myself, and now I am I know both sides, and I know which what to stay on, and, and I don't need to test anything anymore. You know, deep down in my subconscious, maybe I wanted to test this. And I did. I know it's real. And now I'm on, I'm on the up again, and I'm never going to come down. So Abraham Hicks really helps you with changing your mindset to bring positivity to yourself and your own world. Search her up on YouTube, please, and definitely check her out. I will post uh, a description on her as well as a, a video in the, the video section below. Uh, if you would like me to expand more on this topic, please let me know. Like I said, law of attraction is one thing to know all this, but you need that energy for it to work. And you need to be full blast that energy. And it has to be real. So... Look up our next video though on stress. I'll talk more about this as we go on. Like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.